guys, it's Jen and I create crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to take dollar store bags and personalize them using HTV vinyl and a heat press. Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to personalize your own Dollar Tree bag. Um, I'm in design space and I already found some images and SVG files that I wanted to use so I um, pre-planned this one already. So I'm going to go up to my projects, click on the image that I want to use, go to customize because I don't know the size of it yet so I need to resize it and change the color. So since it's so large, I'll minimize my screen down here so you can see it a little bit better um, and then I'll just make these a little bit smaller. And depending on the size of your bag, you're going to want to measure how big you want it. Um, I know my particular bag, I want to have it about 7 by 7. So we'll see how this looks when we make it a little bit larger. And then we'll make this one also 7 by 7. These bags are for my daughters. Um, just little spring fun bags that they can take in the car or take when they go swimming or anything. Just a little bit personalized. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here down at the bottom again. And kind of look to see if it looks, you know, um, proportional because of the size. So it doesn't have to be specifically 7x7. Seven seven. I can make it a little bit bigger. I can make it a little bit smaller. Um, however you want it to look. Um, I'm going to change the color of one of these um, just because it'll be easier for me when you cut it out. So I'm going to click on the image, then I'm going to go up here to this little box and then change the color. And I'm not sure which color I was doing this, so I'll change it to this pink color. And then this one I'll just leave black. As of right now, it doesn't matter what color I'm going to change it to because it'll just give me two different mattes and I'll put my color, my vinyl on the mats. So after that, you just want to do make it. Actually, one mistake that I did forget is this. It does this because I did not push attach. So it's not attaching every single thing together. So it's a good thing to go back and redo. So I'm going to push cancel. Sometimes you make mistakes. It's going to bring it back up. I'm going to click on the image that I want to attach. Go down here and push attach and then that means that it will cut everything as it as you see it so i'm going to go back to make it and then it'll bring it up exactly as as it was so for this because it's htv i'm going to want to mirror my image and then i like to just do both of them at the same time that i don't forget when i'm going into cutting it so again this one's black but i think i'm going to use like a bluish color for the first one and maybe like a yellow for the second. But again, it doesn't matter. If I would have done them both black, it would have cut them both out in the same vinyl piece, which I don't want. So that's why I changed the colors. So it's uh, switched around, uh, mirrored, so I can go ahead and continue. And then on here, I have a few favorites that I like to use. Um, you might have some saved or not. I just use an iron-on. They have this one, or they have another iron-on, iron-on. But this one, because it's non-cricket related, I just click on this one. I don't know if it really makes a difference or not, um, but that's just what I like to do. So I'm already sure that my images are mirrored. I have the correct blade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. I'll weed it out, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so here's one of them that I did. Um, it's all weeded out and ready to go. I did actually pre-do one to make sure I had the heat press at the right settings and it turned out really well. This is the one that says Girl Boss. Um, it's kind of hard to see with the color on here but um, these are the only bags that they had at the dollar store so I was just going to give it a try. So this one turned out I had it at 170 for um, 10 seconds and it worked out really well. So. I'm going to do it with this one, um, but one thing that I do do is put a piece of cardboard inside of here, just where it's going to lay, hard surface behind it. So here's what it looks like. I have the cardboard behind it. I'm going to go to my heat press and then I'll show you um, that part. Okay, so I have my heat press on. I have it set to 275 for 15 seconds. Um, I have my cardboard underneath the bag here and I have my design centered. So you want to make sure that you put your sheet of paper over. One thing is to make sure your straps are down so it doesn't get in the way. But put your sheet over 
make sure everything's flat and then just push down for the 15 seconds and it will let you know when it's done it'll just start beeping at you for a while okay so that's done lift up pull your sheet off and mine is not a cold peel so I'm just gonna peel it off right away There we go. So there it is. I'll take my cardboard out of the middle of it. There you go. So there you go. Nice fun little bag. It was a dollar store bag, so I spent maybe a dollar, what, dollar twenty-five on it after you pay for the vinyl. Not too bad, and it's a nice big bag. You put a lot of stuff inside of it. Well, my girls can fit books or snacks or swimming things, whatever they want, but I thought it was kind of neat for them to have their each own individual bags. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please thumbs up and subscribe.